Hi Fly Fishers, it's Adam from Complete Angler Sydney. Now it's late summer 2022 and it's been a pretty wet start to the year. Fishing's been excellent though and we've seen some of the best trout fishing we have done in probably decades. So we've had a lot of people coming in and asking about what sort of rigs and techniques they should be using. Um, some of these people are newcomers to the sport and some aren't. So a lot of questions are starting to get aimed at the end of the season that's coming towards spawn run. Because all these people, and a lot of people, we all like to catch a trophy fish. So what I'm going to show you today is just a quick rundown on some of our favourite spawn run techniques. So if you zoom down here, these are our five flies. Now, as you can see, three of them are trout egg patterns, but vastly different trout egg patterns. The Brewer Wiggle Minnow, it's a great looking little egg pattern. It can be fished on its own, it's quite heavy on itself. Maybe a bit of split shot on it to get it down. Then you've got the Muppet, which obviously dumbbell eyes. It's gonna sink like a rock and bounce along the bottom of the river. And then you've got your more traditional just egg pattern with no weight at all. Now, on years when it's slow flow, you can fish them by themselves. But this year, there's gonna be a lot of water tumbling down. So I like to fish it in tandem with a heavy nymph. So here we've got like an Iron Maiden double nymph. It's um, quite a heavy nymph, like a big Copper John really. And then we've got the death metal pheasant tail nymph. Again, big heavy tungsten nymph. And we will set them up together, which I'll show you now. I've got a leader that I prepared earlier. So what I like to do is, I like to tie my nymph on the end of my leader first, the nice heavy one. Then probably 30 centimetres of line to my egg pattern. Now what that'll do is, I don't want the egg right on the bottom. I want my nymph on the bottom. And I want this just getting pulled behind, just wafting around. Because if you think of a trout egg in the river, it's not gonna sit on the bottom and just roll along like a rock. They're quite light, they're gonna waft around. I think this is a more deadlier technique. And with it all suspended under your strike indicator. Now your strike indicator, you can adjust that to the depth of the water you're fishing in. Now, if you're not hitting the bottom and getting snagged every now and again, you haven't got it in the zone. So you might want to adjust your strike indicator further up the leader. It's a deadly technique. We have the, these kits, the flies made up in a box. You can click on the website and pick them up. We'll see you in store or speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.